How does a man, born out of wedlock, rise to become one of the most influential monarchs in history? Such is the tale of William the Conqueror, the Duke of Normandy, who forever etched his name into history through the Battle of Hastings. In the 11th century, power struggles were a common occurrence, but few would have foreseen the dramatic events that unfolded in the year 1066, events that would shape the course of English history. William, the illegitimate son of Robert I, Duke of Normandy, was only seven years old when he ascended to the ducal throne. Despite his youth and the stigma of his birth, he proved himself a capable leader, defending his duchy against multiple rebellions and invasions. Across the English Channel, the death of Edward the Confessor, the King of England, in January of 1066 sparked a succession crisis. Harold Godwinson, a powerful English nobleman, claimed the throne. But William disputed his claim, asserting that Edward had promised him the crown. In response, William assembled a massive invasion force, determined to claim what he believed was rightfully his. So began the journey to the Battle of Hastings, a clash that would not only decide the fate of the English crown, but also shape the future of the British Isles. On the 14th of October, 1066, the two armies met on Senlac Hill, near Hastings. The English forces, led by King Harold, held the high ground. But William, undeterred, launched a series of attacks, each more ferocious than the last. The turning point came when the Normans, seemingly in retreat, lured a significant portion of the English forces from their strong position on the hill. Seizing the opportunity, William ordered a counterattack. The English line broke, and in the ensuing chaos, King Harold fell. The Battle of Hastings marked the end of Anglo-Saxon rule in England. William the Conqueror had triumphed. He was crowned King of England on Christmas Day, 1066, beginning a reign that would transform the country. In this tale of ambition, power and warfare, several key points stand out. First, the power vacuum created by Edward the Confessor's death set the stage for the Battle of Hastings. Second, William's strategic acumen played a crucial role in his victory, demonstrating the importance of cunning and adaptability in warfare. Finally, the Battle of Hastings was not just a military victory for William, it was a transformative event that ushered in a new era of English history, the Norman Conquest. So, the next time you marvel at the grandeur of the Tower of London or the intricate tapestry of English culture, Remember the man who made it all possible, William the Conqueror, the victor of the Battle